Hey guys, okay, um, back at the shop and I have a new camera. <laughs> uh, the last camera kicked a bucket last night. Um, Eric and I were doing a lot of sanding and, and making a lot of dust and, uh, you know, pretty much crapped out our camera. <laughs> so um, I just went to uh, Best Buy and picked up one of these flip cameras and I'm gonna check it out and see how how well it does um, seems to do okay so far um, I guess the big thing that that I noticed uh, at the moment is that I can't really use any of my wide-angle lenses that I had on my other camera um, my other camera was more of a, a kind of a pro pro consumer camera and so I had a lot of attachments and external microphones and just all kinds of things that you could attach to it and this one's kind of simple um, and you can't really attach anything to it but it might be uh, better for what we're doing anyway since this is kind of a more of the uh, I guess video blog uh, at atmosphere for for this project so um, so maybe it'll, it'll this will work out um, better uh, this camera is uh, actually 1080p where my other camera was only 720 and it really wasn't even that great of a 720 because it's it's fairly old but um, but so far this one seems to be doing okay and you know hopefully the, the sound quality and all that's all right um, and you know I guess we'll see if not it will be going back <laughs> uh, so so anyway so um, just a quick update Eric and I worked on uh, the hardtop and some of the front end stuff uh, yesterday and um, I added, uh, I'm, well I'm starting to mock up this side, uh, I don't know what to really call it but it's just a side section to the hardtop and uh, I don't know in the other videos if, you, if, you, if you're keeping up with the you know previous videos then you remember me talking about the weather and, and how it really affects uh, the the type of work that we're doing since we're working with body fillers and and fiberglass resins and things that uh, tend to be temperature and temperature sensitive and sensitive to uh, the humidity in the air. Well, yesterday <laughs> uh, this thing here, and I don't know if you can see that. I think this thing has a macro on it. So hang on, let me click that. Oh, hey, that's cool. Okay, so. Um, so uh, we did this yesterday and you can still see it's still wet it didn't set up so um, that's the kind of problems that we run into because the temperature dropped a little bit last night and um, and it could have just been something wrong with the, the resin that we used also uh, but um, so I guess I want to show you a technique on how to fix that basically I guess what I'll do is end up uh, applying another layer of fiberglass on top and I'll, I'll use a new thing of of, uh, of, of resin and and uh, hardener and uh, and we'll what I'll do is I'll mix the, the the hardener in the resin to where it's really really hot um, so basically I'll put a lot of hardener in it and then I'll saturate this area and I'll do little small sections at a time and the heat and the extra uh, hardening uh, vapors from the hardener and stuff should interact with this and, and allow this to set up it's kind of setting up but it's it still has a ways to go so um, it's better if I do that uh, otherwise it could just be a big giant mess so um, this is just kind of thing where it, it will set up over time, but I mean it could take a week <laughs> um, and You know, I don't want to don't want to wait a week, but anyway, so when we get through with that all, It looks all messy and choppy and nasty because this is kind of a mock-up um, it, It's basically think of it as a, uh, a, a Frame support for what we're going to do over it and then it should end up looking like this a little better and so that kind of gives you an idea of how that looks. Um, we still have a lot of sanding to do and this is 
fresh laid body filler. So we'll sand it and it'll be smooth, kind of like that on the top. So still a lot of shaping to do. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this, this wire thing that's sticking out. Um, that's kind of holding, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but if you look inside, there's a little turnbuckle and it allows uh, us to keep the, the, the top um, from bowing out when we apply the resins and, and the fiberglass uh, because the resin will, will tend to shrink and it'll cause the piece that you're working on to start to bow or, or bend or you know act weird. So that little wire uh, helps keep the top supported where we want it to go and it seems to be working but now it's time to uh, cut this out and I don't know how this does in the dark but I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, anyway, that's kind of the inside. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> just kind of trying to test this camera out more than anything. But that looks like it. Um, I really have to walk back kind of far in order to uh, to get a good view. I don't know if I can stick my wide angle lens on it but um, but this is in 1080 so we'll see we'll see how it does it maybe it'll look really good when I upload it to uh, YouTube and uh, all that um, I may have to step down to the 720 setting just so that I can fit the file size um, since YouTube kind of limits the file size and the time so they make it they make it kind of hard to upload these videos when we're doing long big projects but uh, I guess we'll just have to deal with it um, anyway so that's that and then I'll uh, I'll shoot some of the video of us working on the car with this also and we'll just see how that goes all right Okay guys, um, all right, now you can see uh, it's been about, I guess, 15 minutes or so, and the fiberglass uh, that I just laid down is, is now um, hard and has has cured on top of that, uh, the, the other fiberglass uh, resin and, and stuff that was not curing due to whatever issues it was having, whether it was the temperature or weather or humidity, I don't know. Um, could have been the hardener. Sometimes hardeners uh, are, are flaky and they don't work. So, um, you know, the more I think about it, that could probably have been what the, the issue was because I actually put a lot of hardener in uh, the stuff last night and it was really strange that it didn't set up. So, so anyway, um, that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how, how you can fix something like that and, and recover because a lot of people will be like, oh my God, it's all gooey and nasty and they would just rip it off and start over well you don't necessarily have to do that so uh, there you go and um, I'm about to fill in this hole now and we'll we'll uh, have that on on tape here in a sec okay